glory be to God in the highest amen. Glory be to God in the highest amen. For his mercy set your right forever. Amen. For his mercy and your right forever. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. For his mercy and your right Amen. For his mercies and your right forever. Amen. We worship you, Lord, for you are so good to us. We worship you, Lord, for you are so good to us. We we worship you forever. Amen. We we seek your face forever. Amen. I we pray, O oh Lord. I we pray with all my heart. Brother, pray. With all your heart, for the days are evil. Why not pray, brother? For the days are evil. Why not pray, sister? Lord, we worship you. Lord, we exalt your holy name. We magnify your holy name. Lord, the hour has come that the dead will hear your voice and they shall live again. The hour has come that the dead will hear your voice and they shall live again. Lord, because you walk at it at all. Yesterday you walk. Today you are still walking. And you will walk forevermore. Lord, King of Glory, we appreciate you. Oh Lord, as the maidens, oh Lord, look unto their mistress, as the servant look unto their masters, so our eyes are fixed unto you, because you are the God that has the answer to all that he let us. You are the God that has the solution to everything that he let us. We've come to seek you, my Father. And may we find you in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in with me again. You are welcome to Jesus, my priority TV. I want to thank the Lord who has ushered us into this new month. The month of March. It is the month of March. February has become history. February is no more. We will continue to march forward in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord who has brought us out of any kind of sorrow the enemy has brought our way in February, in this month of March, who will never experience it in the name of Jesus. The God of the pool of Bethsaida shall locate us. The God of the pool of Bethsaida shall locate us, shall locate you in that situation, shall locate you in that circumstances in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you once again for tuning in with me. You are welcome to Jesus, my priority TV. I'm here to share a revelation with us 
from the book of John, chapter 5, verse 1 to 9. Many of us are familiar to the story of that man that was in the pool of Bethsaida for good 38 years. For good 38 years, that man was lying on his sick bed. He was afflicted of a disease. He was afflicted. That man was on that bed, sick bed, for good 38 years. And there is always a time in a season that the angel of God will enter into the water and stir up the water. And once that water is stirred up, anybody that entered into that water, the first person that entered is cleansed. And in that pool of Bethsaida, there were diverse kinds of infirmities. There were diverse kinds of situation that the enemy used to afflict men and women. They, they were all in the pool of Bethsaida waiting for the angel to stir up the water so that they will be cleansed. So that they will be cleansed. Tonight, tonight, whatsoever kind of affliction that the enemy have used to afflict us, the Lord of the pool of Bethsaida will locate us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. That man was there. That man was there in the pool of Bethsaida. Whenever he wants to make a move after the angel have stirred up the water, people will overtake him. Oh, people will overtake him. The revelation I want to share with us from this narrative is this. Where is the father of that man? Where is the mother of that man? Where are the siblings of that man? Where is the family member or even a friend? Where are the church member of that man that was in that condition for good 38 years? The man was lying on that bed hopelessly. He found himself in a hopeless situation. He was hopeless. Even though he was hopeless in that situation, he never left the pool of Bethsaida. He continued to struggle. He continued to struggle. Maybe peradventure, a day will come in his life that he will be made whole. The revelation behind this narrative is this. This man was hopeless. Everyone had deserted him. Everyone has deserted him. But the God of hope, the only one that gave hope in the, in, the, in the place of hopeless situation, showed himself on that fateful day. Jesus came to him. Jesus came to him. Jesus came to him. This time around, he does not need to struggle. He does not need to struggle with other people in order for him to become first that we enter into the water so that he will be whole. But Jesus located him. Jesus came to, to that is to the very point where he was lying down in the verses of John chapter 5. Verses it says that when Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, 
Jesus said unto him, Will thou be made whole? The only solution to our problem. Jesus, the answer to our prayers, came to him and asked him, Will thou be made whole? What was the response of this impotent man? What was his response? In verse 7, he said, Sir, I have no man. Where is the father? Where is the mother? Where are the children? Where are the siblings? Where are the friends? Where are the family members? Where are the church members of this man? That is the question. Where are they? He was left all to himself for good 38 years. He was left all to himself to face uh, his, to, to face his situation. But Jesus came to his head. And the man answered, Sir, I have no man. I have no man to help me. I have no man to carry me from my sick bed. I have no man. Whenever I want to make move, after the angel has stirred the water, before I will get there, other people have, have entered before me. I have no man. Where are the friends? Where are the brothers? Where are the sisters? Where are the, the, the church members of this man that was in the pool of Bexida for good 38 years? And the man said, I have no man. He lied in a hopeless situation. But Jesus, the one that gave it hope, came to his rescue on that day and delivered him and asked him to stand up and carry his bed. And the man walked. Jesus told him, rise, take up the bed and walk. Within a twinkle of an eye, the man that was that was sick, lying on that bed, that impotent man, became whole. And his name was changed from the impotent man to the important man. From impotent to important. I pray, I decree, and I declare by the authority of the Most High God, whatsoever situation that you have found yourself and, the, and the, the people or the enemies have labeled you, have given you a name and people used to refer you with that name. I pray tonight by the authority of the Most High God that that name will be changed. That your story will be changed. Will be changed in the mighty name of Jesus. From trials to testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. From failure. From failure. To success. In the mighty name of Jesus. In whatsoever situation you have found yourself. And, and everyone have deserted you. You are left all to yourself. To face and carry your cross. I pray that Jesus will come true for you. In the name of Jesus. Jesus will come true for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, I decree, and I declare that that man, that woman that is in a state of giving up, I pray that Jesus will come true for you and he will fill you with hope again in the mighty name of Jesus. Your story shall be changed in this year. He shall cooperate with you in the mighty name of Jesus and you will have cause to testify in Jesus mighty name I have prayed the God of the pool of Bethsaida will see you true we see you true I pray in the name of Jesus that the God of the pool of Bethsaida will locate you and be your hope in the mighty name of Jesus. 
the God of the pool of Bethsaida will be your friend in the mighty name of Jesus. In every area that you have been deserted, everyone has deserted you and you are all to yourself. I pray that the God of the pool of Bethsaida will locate you and be your comfort in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you for tuning in with me again. Happy new month to us once again. I pray that the Lord who has given us another new month we cause us to continue to march forward, to march out of every plan of the enemy and march forward, march into our glory, into our blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Until I will see you again, I remain my humble self, Sister Sweet Bensie. Bye. <laughs> To serve Jesus, I speak from my heart. You are.